Today we're taking a look at the brand new Sky RC MC5000. It's just been released. It's got this cool scroll wheel. You can use it to scroll up and down and select things. You can click it. So there we go. I've clicked. Now we're into the main user interface. This is where we can start a particular task. So I can change the battery type. We've got lithium iron, we've got lion HP, lifepo, nim, and the loops. There are so many different battery types. We'll start with lithium iron. The tasks, we've got charge, storage, discharge, and cycle. This is slightly different depending on the battery type. So we'll go charge, capacity. You can get the charger to stop at a particular capacity when it's charging or discharging. I'm just going to put 10,000 so it doesn't stop early. Target voltage, 4.2. We've got 5 amps for the current. We can go all the way down in 0 0.05 increments. Let's go... So yeah, it goes down to like 0.005, I think. Yeah, 0.05, there we go. <laughs> All the way up to five. So let's do five amp charging. We've got a cutoff current, our charging current, and there we go. Keep current, cutoff timer, and back. So let's charge all these four cells at five amps. So there's the fan at the back here. We've got the AC input. We've got two fans at the bottom spinning really fast. There's no temperature sensors here, unfortunately. On this side, we've got USB-C PD output. So we can use this to charge another device or a phone. It doesn't support USB-C input, unfortunately. <laughs> These are the buttons up close. On the display, we can see the current voltage of this cell, which is 4.118. There is a current of 4.9 being applied. It's a 1920 watt. And then we've got the total time elapsed, 4 minutes 52 seconds. On the other side, we've got the capacity that's been put into it, 388 milliamp hours. There's an internal resistance detected of 14 milliohms. We can scroll down. And now we've got this nice little graph showing the voltage and current over time. So we've got yellow for the voltage and orange for the current. So you can see the current's gradually going down ever so slightly. It started off at about, well, really low and then went up to 5 amps. We can switch through between each port by clicking the port button. It's got a different color scheme for each uh, slot or port. Here's the overview screen at the top. If we want to stop this, we can select... Just click the scroll button. Do you want to stop working? Yes, no, click port for back. I'll click stop working. And I'll skip between each one, click stop. And they've all stopped and the fan has turned off. So the positive terminals have these two little notches, which are great for small cells to fit into the bottom. And the negative terminals have these big notches here at towards the top. So you can take a small cell, put it in the bottom or a Big cell, let's try a couple of cells. Okay, we've got some 26650s. Let's put them side by side and see if they fit. That's the first one. Second. So those fit perfectly. We could try this 26800. This probably won't fit because that's about 80 millimeters, 79 millimeters. It's, yeah, you can see it's just, it just fits. So I can go ahead and charge that, but it only just fits. And what's this, a 32650, so that's quite wide. So I've got all of these in at the same time. 26650, 26650, 26800, and a 32650, and that's yeah, quite wide. Let's go ahead and select. We'll start and do 5 amp charging on all four of them. Let's see if it works. Here we go. Cool. So it's starting off at like 100 milliamp going up gradually. If we look through each port, we've got 50 milliamp for the first, and then we've got 101 for the second, 15 for this one, and 49 for the Sophone. So the internal resistance is quite different between each cell, and we're charging all four of them. So, yeah, no problem handling these big cells. Let's go ahead and stop. Okay, let's try a discharge. So, we've got the battery type lithium ion, charge, go to discharge. 
discharge at 2 amps. We can change the cutoff voltage. It's currently 3.2. Let's change it to... Go down to 2.9 for this particular firmware. Discharge current. It's maxed out at 2 amps. And let's start. Do you want to apply to all? Yep. And it's applying it to all. So now each channel is discharging at 2 amps. So here's another cool thing. It is the Sky Charger app. I've actually got two charges here, but let's go to the MC5000. So connected. Showing discharge in 3, 1, 4, and 2. There we go. So <laughs> we can view the current status on the mobile phone. Can select a particular thing. I can stop. Do I want to stop the first channel? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's stop it. And we can see that it stopped over there. Let's check out the details. So I've got this real-time graph. Can change between each slot. Now this graph is a bit different compared to that graph. So you'll notice you can see on the display, you've got the, the graph where it starts, it goes up and then it's increased a bit with the discharge rate. Whereas this one just has the real time based on how long the app's been connected and monitoring the data. <laughs> You've got some basic information. You can see the internal resistance capacity, the mode or the task applied, the current voltage of the cell, and that is the discharge current. With the app, you can actually change a few things that aren't set on the charger itself. So I can change the notify beep between off, low, medium, high. I can disable the warning. So if I take out a battery while it's still charging, it, it'll throw a warning and complain about it. Maybe I'll just turn that warning on. As an example, let's take out one of these. So I've taken out that cell and now it's complaining. Let's select a different battery type. We'll go with LiFo4. So there we go. We'll try cycle. And what is the current? One amp. Discharges two. Cool. And then we'll do three cycles. Resting time of 10 minutes. And start. So if we view this, we can see the charge one, discharge one, and then we've got C2, D2, and C3, D3. And we've got the milliamp hour for the capacity. If we scroll down, if we scroll up, we can see the duration of the time. For each of these stages you can also use the app here so we can go into the app it's the sky charger app connecting to the mc5000 we've got life cycle so we can see basic information here we have more basic information we don't currently have the c1d2 so if you want to see the time or duration and the capacity of each stage you need to go onto the display and take a look there. It's not shown on the app itself. If you want to see much more in-depth testing, uh, check out my website, timmcmahon.com.au. I've posted like over 20 different tests. You can see the results, see the graphs and see how this performs. But yeah, it's pretty impressive. You've got vents, you've got fans. There's these little 13 degree angle things here so you can elevate it to let the air flow through a bit more easily. We've got these massive rubber feet here, so it seems quite durable. Uh, you see PD, that's output only, no input, unfortunately. There's no temperature sensors along here that I can see. I really like these positive and negative terminals and the sliders. They move really, really easily. They're great for compatibility for different cells. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Uh, like basically, all the cells I've used have been able to fit. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I really recommend checking out my blog. You can see the full review there and all the testing. And yeah, thanks Sky RC for sending this through for review.